Well, I'm back. I know, I, I, I'm kind of surprised I'm back and feeling as well as I am already. I do want to start off with a question that was posed by one of you. Virginia Penley asks, uh, well, one said, yay, prayers answered because I'm home. And again, I appreciate just the outpouring from all of you guys. Um, and then says, take care. Any truth to the rumor that Sam has been cast on NCIS the series? I tell you what, the prospect of that made me really excited. I, I really enjoy NCIS. I have not watched it dedicatingly or, or like obsessively the last couple of years. But I was very much a Denozo Abby. I wanted to be Abby. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to, I, I enjoy the, you know, solve the mystery stuff. And to see Sam come to a show that I already enjoy, it would have been really cool. Um, however, when I did a little research uh, last night, my AI was like, yes, the rumors are absolutely true. And I thought, cool, that'll be a fun thing to start the video off with today. And then I did a little extra research this morning, and uh, yeah, it's a saying no today, and absolutely no articles have him listed as having been signed up. The only things that do say that he is signed up, and as you can see, there's my AI answer. I, I don't rely on AI for the answers. It usually will point me in a good direction if it's something I hadn't heard, and I had not heard this rumor yet. Um, but uh, let's see, where it said that possibly he had been was a Facebook page. That was, um, it's not his Facebook page. Hold on. Now I can't find it, of course. Yeah, here it is. It took me a second to like make my search worse. Uh, Miss Sam Hugh now, I'm not even going to click the page and give it the dignity of a, a click. But my beloved fans, I'm happy to announce that I've just signed a new contract with the NCIS management team and will be acting next year with, and that's, it's a load of crap. Um, pardon my language. This is from four weeks ago. The Facebook page, he doesn't. He has nothing to do with any of the Facebook pages. We've talked about this before. He's on Instagram. He's on X. Uh, and I believe on threads, but I'll have to double check that. Outlander Online always has a complete list of where our stars are active. So I will try to remember to include that below. Always check that. As far as I can tell, the rumors were just that. Rumors. Uh, Sam will not be appearing on NCIS. But who knows? In the future, we might find out that they were trying to cover a rumor. So, you know, it, it's Hollywood. It's it's movies and tv shows nobody ever wants all the spoilers out right away so we'll, we'll see what he shows up in and i'll try to do my best to make sure that if i find out that he's in something else you find out as well and with that said i'm just gonna hop right into this post here from outlander sasnak and three others uh it's Kat and Sam behind the scenes season one a lot of hashtags for Jamie and Katrina and uh, Jamie and Katrina Sam Katrina Jamie Claire you know the whole spiel by the way they're on Outlander in case we're not clear what we're talking about here uh, but yeah so we got them well, this looks like uh, she's uh, doing the traveling for taxes kind of dressed a little more appropriately for the times of course they could be doing anything inappropriately for the times good behind the scenes camera bad lighting in the corner this is a little glary. <laughs> uh, I feel bad. Her talking about how she was stuck in this shift for days in the wet weather and the guys are covered in wool. Um, yeah, it, I'm glad they worked together to try and keep each other warm. <laughs> and another good behind the scenes here. Uh, why is it that, why, why is Claire always wearing less clothing than necessary? Now that she's in her shift and yeah, this is what their, their argument of uh, how a wife is to be treated. Yes. Mm hmm. And another good one. And those lovely coats. I do. I do love those coats. Oh, this this one I think is shorter than the long ones they seem to have uh, in more recent seasons. But yeah, I got the tartan to keep them warm because it's cold in Scotland. And look, at everybody else is all in coats and jackets and poor Katrina's just trying to cuddle with that coat to try and keep some warmth in. I oh, love this one too, where we are. Uh, I like the learning to, to use a dirk lesson that that cracked me up <laughs> especially angus oh an oldie but a goodie yeah we, we know this one fairly well i uh, this this behind the scenes photo does show up quite often even though it's really just the backs because it is a beautiful view you get a great idea of where it is they're filming this and just how magnificent every day had to be surrounded by this just incredible beauty all the time yeah more of the same i i know i think of blue skies to be a little cheerier you know but Again, the atmosphere, the energy, the the location, it just had to be kind of, kind of like just this amazing experience day to day, especially during that first season when it's all kind of new and they're getting to know each other and the cast and the crew. It's yeah. memories. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. 
I wish we could see a little bit more of their faces, but that's a really cool silhouette image. I don't even have anything to add to that just because it is really just simple and, and lovely. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> Having a hug. Again, everybody is covered in, in, I would assume, waterproof type clothing and outerwear. The cameras are even covered. And oh, these poor actors. I hope they would manage to stay fairly healthy during these because um, 6X. Uh, and that's another good picture too. They're just obviously not during a take behind the scenes because Sam is inappropriately dressed for such an occasion. <laughs> that coat doesn't have the uh, balloony thingy, whatever they call it. It's <laughs> not the tapered. I don't know what the heck do you call it? I think of it like the Michelin man. Got the, the rolls. Anywho. Um, but yeah, they just look like they're waiting between takes trying to keep each other warm again. And who can blame them? Now, I've also got this collection from Outlander Online of a whole bunch of Caitlin Ryan. And I have come to adore Caitlin over this past couple of, of years, uh, especially between her posting so many images and kind of getting us an idea of what she's about, her uh, spoken poetry. It's all very cool. She's a very accomplished young woman. And I swear, just as cheery as Lizzie is in general. Um, Lizzie can be down on occasion, but she's a very cheery gal in general, I feel like. Kind of started that in the middle, so I'm going back to the beginning here. Uh, <laughs> she's kind of smirky. I feel like she's being cheeky to the camera, where we're doing a I like the word cheeky, but she's, yeah, there we go. That's just Lizzie right there. I feel like it's Kate Little Ryan, but uh, in some ways I feel like there's not a lot of acting that has to go on when she's just being her regular, again, cheerful self. She seems like such a bright point uh, in the lives of the Frasers on a regular basis. And if nothing else, she makes life interesting. Oh, and I do love the, like the relationship that they all seem to have with the animals here. But yeah, Caitlin, I think because she and John get along so well. The, the pup and she must be good pals as well. Oh, here's a good one with, uh, yeah, what, season four there with uh, very young Ian before many, many changes in his life happen. I, they're looking, oh, this must be when Roger's on his way back. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, and just a good picture here. That's very pretty. That would be a lovely thumbnail or just a lovely picture in general. I like the flowers too. And again, just smiling. <laughs> I want to be her friend. You know, you want to just like go hang out with her for a little while and have a chat. Although I don't think I have a lot to, to talk to her about other than Outlander because I'm not into poetry. Although we could totally talk about clothes and music. Oh, there's a good one. Yep. Just a hug in with uh, Katrina. Uh, again, not sure if this is behind the scenes or cut from a clip of the show because it's not unusual for them to, to share a hug, to share an embrace with the, the folks that they all consider family on the ridge. And I'm going to call this a clip from the show, but it's a very nice one. A good image of her. Uh, and the bonnet is, is not the white bonnet. It's a fancy dress day. So she's got her, her fancy bonnet on. All right. That's all I've got for some behind the scenes stuff. We're going to move to a new release from Stars, A new video of the cast of Outlander on what's ahead on season B, uh, 7B. And Outlander Online has the full video here in case you don't want to go digging around for it. Um, and I will include those links below. I'm not sure how much I can get away with playing, but I'm going to see what I can get away with here. Okay. All right, before I start, uh, Outlander Stars has released a new promo clip for season 7B with the cast including Katrina Balfe, Sam Hewn, Sophie Skelton, Richard Rankin, John Bell, David Barry, Charles Vandefart, Izzy Mikhail Small, Joey Phillips, Chris Fulton, and Dear Maid Berta. Whew. To sum up what our characters are about to experience, lots of emoticons. Okay, so um, yeah, what's going to happen on season 7B for them? And this is how they react to their storylines. Uh, again, I'll see if I can get away with playing this whole thing for you guys. The emoji to best describe this season is the kind of like, ah, one with the cross eyes and the tongue out because it's just chaos. The little mountain climber one, just sort of slogging away and hoping it's all worth it at the end. This one. <laughs> the noble buck, the noble deer, the wolf. I think like the little roller coaster that's like going up and it's about to go like, <laughs> this snake. Probably just a big old sad face. The mind blown emoji. You know the one with like cross eyes and sort of way like it's like he's just completely dumbfounded. There's so much that goes on and, and confusing and complicates him. Yeah, it's a damn good emoji that one. Well, the first thing fans say to me when they meet me is, "Where's Sam?" <laughs> Can I have a selfie? Are you an Outlander? You're a lot taller. You don't actually have red hair, and you're English. Aww. You're better looking in real life, which I'm not sure 
if that's a compliment. One word to describe this season is fast. Traumatic. Explosive. Cracking. Shocking. Expansive. Tragic. Epic. Epic. Blank is my favorite character this season. Has to be Danny, my brother. Denzel. Rachel. William. Mercy Woodcock. Brianna. Brianna. Buck. Mandy. If this season were a color, it would be pink. Flaming hot pink. Deep, dark purple. Turquoise. It would be black. Black. Be red. red. Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> Short, sweet. It was great. Uh, thanks again, Outlander Online, for making sure we always have access to these new videos and pictures and can go to your archive and check them out whenever we want to. Remember, Outlander Online does not do this for profit. They only ask for cash once a year to help support their website. So uh, this is a, a project of passion for them uh, as much as it is for me, although I make a little bit of money. Uh, speaking of which, I will have a little update on my savings for my vehicle coming up, but uh, I'm not going to do that today. Now, there were quite a few images John Bell had shared lately, and I'm going to save some of those for later to fill in because they were fun. Uh, but I enjoyed this one here. Outlander Online shared this as well. Seems like John Bell and Rush Gabaldus went to see the Hills of California. Hills of California, oh, okay. which stars Laura Donnelly. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, this was uh, shared by John uh, Hunter Bell's Instagram, hashtagging he and young Ian and Outlander and stars. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's uh, the Hills of California. I feel like I've heard about that one. It's supposed to be really good if I remember right. Uh, but I hope you had a great time getting myself out of the frame here so you can see this one also shared by Outlander online through their Instagram, but I went to their page because it's nicer to get a full image uh, from Sam 10 years apart. 2014, weeks before beginning Outlander Season 1, and 2024, week after Outlander Season 8 wraps. We've got a couple pictures here to compare. Sony Pictures Studios, who are you going to call? Soaking up the California sunshine, thanks for the beautiful sunglasses, at Crew. All right, so we've got Sam in front of the Ghostbusters uh, mobile here. Very fun. Uh, I've actually been in the, in front of the one. They had one at Universal. or No, no it wasn't that. No. <laughs> That is very cool. It would be cool to stand in front of one. Uh, let's see here. Where is the other one? Oh, okay. So we're looking down here. Yeah, because there's some other pictures here. And I actually had a different link for this. So we're going to look at this. So that's 10 years beforehand. Um, this is the older image. It's darker, unfortunately, so a little harder to see. But uh, you can tell there's a, a big difference between semi before and semi after. <laughs> he's he's grown up and grown up very nicely. We're very proud of him, and uh, yeah, cool picture, cool comparison. Just wish it was a little lighter. And we've got this image, which I have on uh, another post somewhere. Hopefully, there'll be more information. But it's a it's a good picture of Sam out in the sun. And uh, enjoying the time off after working so hard. Now, I'd said I'd come across this lovely picture of Katrina that I really wanted to share. And this was it. Um, it's really simple and it's really sweet. She just seems like she's got joy in her heart there and a little kitten. And it just it was sort of beautiful to me in its simplicity. Uh, shared by Brilliantly Balf. Uh, this is, I believe, another quote from Katrina. At the end of my first college year, I was packing bags in a supermarket for charity and I was scouted as a model. I went bright red, being very shy, but I remember one of the girls on the tills getting uh, excited, shouting, you one just got asked to be a model all over the shop. That's where it all began. Uh, it, it's such a simple beginning. I do love these stories where they weren't really looking and uh, got discovered accidentally. And it changes the course of a person's life. Possibly the future she thought she was going to have became a completely different thing. And uh, now now we all know and love her for her amazing talent. So it worked out for, for us at least. <laughs> and then a much more recent image here shared by Balf Nation and Outlander Online. Close-ups of Katrina Balf in London and a dinner hosted by Jessa McCormick and Zoe Kravitz. Also pictured with Abby Lee Kershaw and Naomi Aki. And a credit for these go to Darren Garish at uh, Getty Images. Although it seems like somebody cut the Getty part off. Oh, there we go. See, powerful woman doing a thing. Yeah, I know who Zoe is. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know who Jessica McCormick is. It's like these names you recognize. Um, but yeah, Zoe Kravitz, because Lenny, um, <laughs> I know who she is. And I know who Katrina is. And that's as far as I go. But lovely women. Uh, yeah, they look great. And I hope they had a great time. More pictures. Oh, what is this? Are they are? I don't know where they're having the dinner at a jeweler's. <laughs> I don't generally display my necklaces, but they aren't very extravagant and worth displaying, to be honest. And here we are. Yeah, just a cut. I think I think somebody cut the Getty out of some of these, <clears throat> but I won't name names. And uh, but we're sharing the pictures. And as long as we all know that uh, I didn't take them, 
and Getty does get uh, credit for him along with Darren Garish. I think we're covering our bases at least. Now a throwback image from Scotsman Sam from JustJared.com, San Hewn in New York, October 5th, 2023. So basically a year ago, last week-ish, uh, hashtagging Sam Hewn, Sassanic Spirits, Outlander, and Scottish actor, just in case you weren't sure. Um, if he was a Scottish actor, so here we are, uh, full kilt, uh, doing really, I mean, he wears it well. I do dig, maybe this is just me cause I have big calves, but I do dig people who can wear the boots and like good socks above them and get like that warm thickness that comes with having layers. I do it. And I just, I just, I have, I have, my legs are too thick already. It looks bad. He carries it off very well. And of course looks great. Let's see there. A couple more pictures here. No signing stuff for folks. Again, just full of gratitude. He's such a nice fella. I, I, I cannot wait. Hopefully that I, I can't quite say what I want to say. I hope that I get a chance to meet him someday. But even if I don't, I feel like I've gotten to know that he's he's a really decent person. And I'm, I'm glad to be a fan of his. And that's one of the cool things about being fans of this show is you can be proud of the people that you're fans of because they're genuinely good people. I mean, he's <laughs> see how they're getting pictures in his sunglasses in what looks like an evening. Uh, but yeah, this just <laughs> seems like a nice guy. And we are nearly to the end. I won't have to two part this, I don't think, because I kind of strung through it, keeping my breathing, doing pretty good, I think. Um, uh, but I have a clip here to end us with from Scotsman Sam at Sam Hugh and Katrina Bell, uh, season four, October of 2018. And they're just talking about, um, well, about the season. And it's, I think, a fun way to end this as we are preparing and waiting for the second half of season seven. And, uh, oh gosh, what do we got? We got, we got a month and a week-ish. We can do it. We've done it so far. We're up to, what, 62 weeks of No Outlander? We're, we're doing all right. In this year. And finding sort of a real life together and, and uh, yeah, something they've always wanted is to, to, to have this family and this home. Live the American dream. Is that the same as our dream? Positive. Part of the problem is, first of all, they arrive in, in um, North Carolina and there, there's many options for where they're going to settle. I mean, Jocasta offers them a place, I suppose, but for Claire, that's um, obviously she doesn't want to stay at River Run. I think the whole idea of her being on a plantation is, um, it's, yeah, she just can't have that. So Jamie gets offered. Yeah, some land, and he does a deal with with the British, which obviously is goes uh, kind of against everything that he's uh, believed in before. But it's a real new opportunity for them, and they both, I believe, fall in love with the land and uh, and see the opportunity there, and an opportunity to create change in in America and and, and America that's in its infancy. Well, that kind of was a perfect little description in for them uh, in season four how they how they get started off so probably a good idea to really pay attention to anything that comes out from uh, any interviews because uh, everything could be a clue now do remember that you can watch the new york comic con uh, panel for free uh, the information was in the last video i did on how we can all go watch that we just need to get to the right folks the right links and um if i find it before on that thursday i will link it on, on the community so everybody can find it. Um, if not, make sure if you find it, share it in the posts below so that we can all work together as a community and make sure we get a chance to watch it. I will be trying to record it from home so that I can share snippets with you guys uh, later on. I do want to say again, thank you to all of you for the hearts, the virtual flowers, the prayers, the thoughts, the good vibes, the mojo, just the constant outpour of, of caring from you. I, I can't even tell you how much that meant to me. Um, my, my own family is sick on the other side of town. So literally the only people who could come visit me were my husband and daughter as they would bring me uh, little things that I, I needed because I, you know, hadn't planned and packed to go to the hospital and needed some supplies. Um, my mother is homesick. My father is homesick. My sister is homesick. And, uh, so, uh, we, we all managed to get sick without being anywhere near each other <laughs> with fairly similar problems. Only I'm the only one who got to spend a week in the hospital trying to figure out how to breathe again. Again, my heart rate and my oxygen has been really great these last two days. I'm taking my walks to and from the corners. I'm hoping that I will be able to start doing uh, like a lap where I used to do 10 laps, a lap um, once or twice a day. 
I and uh, yeah, just work out my my uh, ability to have a bit of stamina so that next month when that convention comes, I can be on the ball. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing so many of you and of course the Outlander stars. Special thanks to everybody for coming and watching these videos while I've been sick. Uh, very much appreciate the members who have continued to support this channel. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And if you didn't get enough Outlander content, I did have a few videos that I put up, even though um, might be upset at me for doing that. But uh, it was okay. The doctors and nurses knew what I was doing. They gave me a permission. So if you didn't get enough stuff, so if you didn't get enough information in this video, there are some you can choose. And no matter what video you choose, I'll see you there kind of started that in the middle let's start here I would seems like John Bell and Rush seems like John Bell and Rashma Gopal oh, I hate doing this to people's last names